Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rezaul Haq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial automation system, different types of on-off valves are used to control the process system. Roadblock actuator is most usable and reliable of them. Sometimes different problems are happen in a roadblock actuator. Then we have to re recalibrate the control valve or actuator. Also, at first installation of rotor actuator, we need to calibrate the actuator, otherwise the valve will not be operated accurately. Today, I will discuss about the calibration procedure of rotor actuator. So, let's start. Here, here you see, it is the rotor actuator of intelligent actuator model is IM220. IM20. We want to calibrate this uh, Total actuator. It is a opening and closing problem. So we want to calibrate this valve properly. First, you see here, here are the automatic switch. It is the automatic switch. You can change it by auto stop and manual mode. And it is the open and close command button. When the locally you want to operate this one, then you can use this button to open or close this valve. Port. And I am uh, showing the appearance or the physical appearance of this a total actuator valve now it is valve is showing the close now we want to calibrate this valve valve so we press the in the valve in manual mode and open and see what is the happening in this uh, uh, in this condition you see valve is opening the calibration procedure of this uh, rotor actuator is the to maintain the span that is it's on a valve so it is the it, it, it should be in the full open and should be the full close so we are opening this valve port and you see the uh, indicator is going to the in the open direction it is the indicator clockwise is open and the clockwise is a uh, close so you see valve is going to the close position uh, sorry open position and and uh, we uh, I am showing you the indicator that is going to the close, nearly to close position. And you see, here you see, valve is not fully closed, but in the display it is showing the close. Uh, sorry, the valve is open. And uh, valve is showing this is open, but in the indicator is showing that the valve is not fully open. So, we have to be use the hand wheel to go to the full, go to the uh, open position. Then we can go to the setting position by either we handle remote control by remote. Then we can set the limit uh, limit then the valve will be go to the full open position so you see the limit is not showing in the full posi uh, open position so but you are using the hand wheel to go to the valve to the in the open position you see engage the hand wheel that can, can you can be release it on and by using the hand wheel then we can go to the valve is fully open position you see we are uh, using the hand wheel to go to the full open position and you see indicator, you can uh, notice in the indicator that it is the by using hand wheel and the indicator is going to the full open position. You see, by using hand wheel, we are using hand wheel and try to go to the full open position. The calibration procedure is the following, if, if, if not the valve is go to the full open open limit, then we use the hand wheel to go to the open limit, then we can uh, setting this the open limit by the, uh, in the motherboard, we can set this one by using hand wheel, sorry, the remote. You see, now valve is the full open position. Indicator is showing the full open. But also the uh, display is showing the open. But uh, you see, it is the uh, 80% open. So I am showing the another actuator that is, it is showing the uh, actuator. How can we go to the open position? We can, my, uh, by, uh, how can we set this uh, limit? It is the open. By, can, how can we understand the motherboard can understand that it is the open limit? So we are using the handrail. Handheld program that is the remote, you see, and uh, it, it, it has a cover so we cannot uh, uh, cannot notice clearly. So I use the another actuator that uh, how can we set this one? So you go to the first, you go to the local mode, then you can use the handheld program. What you see now? I open the cover because the valve is a valve is a hold mode. So, so how can we set this limit in the open position? You see, so, you see, this valve is showing the 55 percent open. Uh, but the act, uh, limit is going to the so you go to the uh, go to the primary setting, then go to the close direction. If, uh, we have to set this limit in the close with a fully open valve. So we have to go to the open limit. 
will go to the open limit you see we will go to the open limit and uh, in uh, insert this button in remote uh, remote then you can see this one the uh, go to open limit and press Open, then you can open limit, press OK. When you open OK, then the button will open limit. You see, this is open limit. Now, this 80% low, go to open limit and press the OK. Why you see? 80% press the open limit, OK. Then you go to the fully open indication. So, that you see, now our valve is fully open and uh, our uh, limit is also open. So, now close this valve with the go to close position. Now, the open limit position is uh, calibrated, is completed. The, the calibration procedure of this rotor uh, uh, is that we have to go to the valve fully open and uh, see the indicator is open position. If this indicator go to the open position, then we use the hand wheel to go to the open position and set this limit to the uh, by using the remote. A again, we can uh, close this valve. Now, our open limit is set completed and we go to the close limit that valve is fully closed or not. If valve is not fully closed, then we use the hand wheel to go to the close position. You see, valve is closing. Now, you see, it is a uh, uh, go to the, uh, now valve is, valve is closing. So, we see the indicator which is the in close position or uh, go to the, you see, our uh, indicator is showing the close position. When the display is showing close position, after you see the limit is closed or not, you see our limit is not fully closed. So, we have to be use the hand wheel to go to the close limit. By using the hand wheel, you go to the close limit, then we use the remote to set this on close limit. So, you see indicator is saying close, but our valve is not in close. It is a uh, sometimes some limit cannot be open, so we use the hand wheel and uh, go to the in up to close limit. You see by using the hand wheel and we go to the close limit then by using the handle programmer that means the remote you see you see by using hand wheel and the indicator is going to the close limit that means bar is going to close when that is fully close then we use the remote to set this limit position to the as a close position understand let me say we are showing that that we say, now you see valve is fully closed and indicator is also showing close but uh, this limit was not set in the motherboard so we are using the handheld program to go to the uh, first place the input button then go to close the password then go to the primary setting then go to the open limit or close limit now i will go to the close limit because uh, uh, before uh, some before we have said the open limit is completed now we set the close limit of this valve so we are going to the close limit then we can set this on the close position the close limit we have to set in the motherboard that it is our close limit so in the uh, in this actuator is showing the cover so you cannot notice clearly i will show another actuator in the when the cover is open i show this one you see this is the valve is in the close position so we have to be set this limit to in the controller or motherboard so you see this actuator is valve is open. So, how can we set this one? I can show you. You see, first you go to press the enter button, you go to the uh, enter uh, into the programming mode, press enter, go to the program mode, change setting, then go to the input, put the input password, then the primary setting, then here you can choose the when you input the primary setting, then you can be defined uh, option because the close limit we have to be set this one. Suppose if the valve is 50% uh, uh, open, but the close limit is the in the close, close position. So, we have to be set this one in close. So, we go to the close limit and set this one as a close limit. If you go to the close limit, you go, into, into, in, uh, go to close limit, close limit is plus OK. Then this 55% go to the close, you see. Okay, then it's a close limit. That means that uh, if our valve is not fully closed, then we can uh, use the hand wheel to do the close limit. Then uh, by this way, we can uh, check the valve uh, and set this point as a close limit. You see, our calibration is completed. That means if we first we can uh, use the local monitor to go to the up to close limit, uh, up to open limit, and to see the valve is open or not. If not open by using the hand wheel, uh, hand wheel to go to the open limit then we set this in the motherboard by user remote to set the as in close, open limit now our again position we go to the close limit and it is not hard to close so we will use the handle program to close limit then we can set this on the close limit you see 
after our calculation complete, now we are checking that heart is fully open or closed. Before I see that heart is not fully open, it will go to the, go to the about the 80% or the 75% like it will go to the uh, open, but that will not go to the open position. Now see, our heart is 100% go to the open position. You see, an indicator also shows the open position. But before it also shows to the, it indicator is showing the open position, but the limit is not go to the open position. Now, I am Again, I am closing this valve when you go to the close position, is 100% close or not. Because we see that, that our valve is not going to the 100% close position. It is, uh, it is sometimes the 20 or 50% like that, like that percent cannot be closed. But an indicator is showing that the close position. Now, our valve is calibration is completed. So, now we are uh, checking that it is, uh, it is working properly or not. You see, before the indicator it stops here. But now, all the valve is going to the close, 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 this uh, 30, 40, this uh, go to the close position, you see, you see, the valve is closed and indication is also closed, and go to indication, indication is closed or not, you see, you see, close is indication also is closed position, that means that we can successfully calibrate this rotor actuator, that means that uh, the, the, you can understand that I am again telling you that the how can you uh, calibrate this uh, rotor actuator, First, we have to be go to the open limit, the valve is open or not. If not fully open, then we use a handle to go to open limit and we set this limit as an open limit. Again, we go to the, the close limit and then if the valve not go to the close limit, we use the handle to go to the close limit and set this one as in the close limit. So, friend, I have show you how can we calibrate this uh, uh, rotor actuator step by step I have show you. I think you can understand. If you think that the my video is helpful to you, please subscribe my channel. If you already subscribe, also thank you. Also, like, comment, and share to others that they can understand about this one. Now, I am showing another one that the, our the torque sensor is okay or not. So, I am showing this one. So, go to the setting and go to the uh, torque display. Then, the torque setting, the torque target torque, you can go to there, here, and to the other. You can see that torque is okay or not. You see. We go to the torque, heat torque, and if we can see the rated torque and the when the valve is open and closed, the rated torque will be changed. So, dear friend, no more today. Assalamu alaikum. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.